bridge that you have to uh, you have to check the board before you cross. And right now there's a bear over here. So we're not allowed to go across. We've got a bear jam. Down this way? Bridge is open, go! Mighty nice of the bear to move off that quickly. Look at the salmon right here. Oh, you're not allowed to stop, but salmon right here in the water coming up. School, school of salmon going right across there. Look at the salmon coming here. Look at them all. There's one that's really got a color to them. Oh, there's one with a chunk bitten out of it. Here's a fella just hooked one. Cat, the, for sockeye, you're allowed three a day. Which is probably what that is. fell in that this fish. Come on man, that that fish. Keep moving on the bridge. One side or the other feed. Alright. Here we go. Do the bears ever get up on the bridge? They do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yep.
starting to clear up. It is. That that sow caught probably 15 fish while we were there. And the every time she'd catch one, she'd bring it to shore. The cubs would run down, and they'd all eat it together. I think I think I might have seen her eat one fish by herself. That's my plane I'm supposed to be getting on. This would be... Well... Can't go down there, that's for sure. Were you guys down at the falls when she was there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was incredible. Yeah. Just keep an eye out for babies. Yeah, I wouldn't go near that sow. She's pretty protective. I wouldn't go near any sow. What am I talking about? Did you guys fly over today or are you staying? Yeah, no, this morning. Yeah. Which company? With Russ. Okay. How about you? Uh, Regal. Uh, playing right where she's sleeping, basically. Okay. That N9878R Beaver. Yeah. That's you? That's, yeah, I thought I was going to go down and put myself in the plane. Well, it might be a while. It might be a while. That's a that's a stupid place to have a sleep. Hey guys, so that uh, those bears can move this way if they need to. If we can just like kind of be on this side of the beach, that would be great. Thank you very much. It's a standoff. Look at that little <laughs> brown cub just laying on his side. That. They had a pretty good feed too. I mean, the cubs, she fed them well. Oh, now have a look at the way he's lying on his back. <laughs> Got a good view. Little tummy. They may be sleeping that food off for a while. Oh yeah, they eat a lot of fish. The dark, darker brown one, does that mean it's a male? Oh no. No, it doesn't. No. Has, no. That could that could be they could both be males, it could both be female cells. Or female cubs. Just means probably that the daddy was darker. Yeah.
That beaver's an amazing airplane. Did you guys fly on a beaver? I flew on, I don't know what it is, but on yesterday, last couple days, I've been flying on a beaver with Rod touching it now. Yeah. Oh, so we're not flying back? <laughs> not at this moment. The old bear standoff is happening right in front of our plane. Yeah. Yeah. What, what was for lunch? A uh, sandwich. Hmm. I mean, there's still one box in it. I don't think I want it. Three hour flight. That's that sow, blonde sow with cubs that we saw down at the falls. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, one's blonde, one's dark. Yes, yeah, the dark, the, the blonde cub and the dark cub, and that's that sow. It's so funny that they're right by our plane. It's like, no, we're gonna stay here. It's no good at all, man. Do you have anything planned for tonight? Or <laughs> no, I don't. Well then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well enjoy the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bears. Yeah. Places. The people that the... I mean... <laughs> Well, I'll shut this off for now. It appeared that uh, bears have dug in the sand and bear poop, of course. Those bears are still lying there blocking our uh, plane. There's volcanic rock all over this beach. Look at this. This thing, this thing weighs. Look at the rocks floating. They're like they're almost they're light as a feather. Go the way. We can cover you. This too. Volcanic. Check out all this volcanic rock. This is pumice rock. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. It's wicked. Yeah. <laughs> Floating, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it uh, was caused from the eruption. Which eruption? Del Verupta. Hmm? Del Verupta. When? 19, 1912. Really, eh? Man. Um, Beach is covered with it. Lots of different colors of it, too. Oh yeah. Yeah, it uh, rushes, you know, comes in. East wind will flush out of the Yukak and you know, you'll get a whole Oh, bunch. so this came from a volcano in Russia? No, from the Yukak. Okay. The river out in the valley. You can't really see anything because of low clouds, but yep. it's right out that way. So. What's that? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Well, there's a float plane taking off. It's going to be a while before we get up. Another one already lifted off. One taxi. We're supposed to leave at three. And it is seven minutes too. Anyway, back to my original story. Before I started talking about the volcanic rock, there's these uh, beds that the bears have dug into the sand, sleeping in there.
sure interesting about the volcano. So he's saying that this is from an eruption in 1912. That's a long time ago. 106 years. Brooks Camp. Oh, I didn't see these before. Some moose racks that people have found placed here. It's probably a fifty five, I guess. Holy! Look how big around that beam is. That is from a cranker oval. Okay, there's pretty thick too. Turbo Auto. Turbo Auto. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and this must be his, his crew. Yeah. Good. That hasn't ended because now the bears are up. Now everybody has to decide what direction the bears are going to go. Beaver coming in. What a beautiful aircraft. So now, three twenty-four. A little bit behind, but eh. what's time? Something to be treasured. I hope she's not digging a bed to lie down because she's digging in the, in the gravel. Yeah, those cubs are yearlings. They cheap because they look small for a yearling cub. Oh, 
Oh, the cubs are digging too, imitating the mother. Oh, don't be digging a bed to lie down. There's beds here, right? See the beds there? Yeah, <laughs> she laid down on it. Yeah, because we want these bears to move along. <laughs> Dave? I guess we might as well say something. That's the dining area with a bear fence. That's the visitor center where they give lectures and teach you about what the bears are doing, washroom. And in here, there's a place where guests are allowed to stash their food. Then along there is the lodge buildings, uh, restaurant, and then there's a gift shop after that. I actually have some kind of nice stuff in the gift shop. Very far. They only they went from our aircraft about. 150 yards, and they plunk down on the beach again. But at least we can get on our aircraft, so we're gonna get out of here right away. <laughs>